Okay, welcome back to another YouTube upload. Um, in today's video, I gotta be going over a few things, actually. I gotta be going over why I haven't been posting. I gotta go over what I've done to this thing, which is the 2022 Hoverboard Gymkhana build that I've been working on, and uh, all of my other scooters and bikes and things like that that I thought you guys would wanna see in like, kind of an updated video format. So, first thing, I might not talk about why I've been gone, but a portion of why I've been gone for these, like, this month or, like, three weeks, I think, is mainly because I've been working on all this stuff. Everything in here has been touched or tweaked in some way. Oh, that's weird. This weekend, mainly, I've been focusing on this thing, I'm focusing on uh, a skateboard and a few other crazy whatever the heck's I've been doing. Um, I'll start off with the hoverboard drum kind of build, and then I think we'll move on to something a little bit more um, culture existing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, what I've done, uh, I can't remember what I specifically ran over in the last video, but I have new plans for the build. One thing is, uh, plan-wise, my plans, I need to find one way to cut a square. I already have the lines marked. I got an X here, an X here, an X here, and an X here. Because in order for this thing to be like a legitimate funny car or drag car or something like that, you know, wheelies are, are, are a thing. You know, wheelies exist. And it'd be really cool if I could get this big old chunky wagon that weighs like 10 pounds in the front, like maybe eight or nine. And then about like 40 or 50 in the back. This, this thing is pretty hefty, believe it or not. There's a whole bunch of framework and all that crap that's done to this thing that really, really bangs it down on the ground. Uh, especially with my body weight in it. It is a complete wagon. Now, that's where the name the wagon comes from. Because, you know, it is a wagon. But it weighs <laughs> like a dang wagon, too. Um, so, actually, wait, hold up. Whoa, that's so weird. Anyways. I would need to cut, I would need to cut a hole here, actually. And the lines are already traced, I, and I would need to cut a hole here because if I could take some weight off the front, and I can make the front all sicily dilly and all that type of crap, I think there'd be such an uneven weight distribution, not a 50-50, but more like a 70-20 or a hopefully like 10-90, that I could actually pop a wheelie on this a uh, wagon build. Now I did it on my old cart and it was mad easy. It, it, I think the weight distribution was like, I, I don't know, I want to say about 96 in the back or 97 and then like three in the front where my feet were. It, it was all dependent on how much I would push my feet down in order to how much pounds I was actually pushing on to the uh, object itself. So just just saying, you know, if I can get some weight back here, or if I can just loosen up some weight up here, I could pop a wheel. Uh, but in order to do that, I'd have to get, instead of one wheel, this thing is a one-wheeler in the front. If some of you guys don't, don't know that, it looks super ugly, but it is indubitably a one-wheeler. And you can actually see that coming through. This spot right here is raised where the wheel is sitting. The spot right there is raised. It's getting a whole bunch of pressure put on it. I would have to perform two wheels because the body... If you sit in it, it flexes. <laughs> so it's either I put like a bar across here to kind of stop some of the flex, or I freaking put two wheels on it, and I would love to have two wheels on it. But this one wheel weighs like two pounds, so it's it's really, really heavy in the front. That, that's what really gets you out there um, up, up here at the front. And the canards are like thin pieces of like plastic sheet metal or whatever the heck. I don't know. But the, the canards weigh literally nothing. Th these are little pieces of metal. Uh, and they're just held in with like a rubber band and some stuff. It, it's it's super, super light. And then you got to factor in all the bolts and washers and all that type of crap. That also weighs the front. So all around, I'd really just have to cut a hole here and add a, add a, a support beam and two wheels. But I have to get plastic wheels. This is a metal wheel, dude. Like, that thing weighs, but... I think it's enough talking about this on the front side. 
<laughs> something scraping on the back uh if it'll power on i don't think it will yeah no uh i've added i don't know if i showed you guys but i added this reflective light since i uh can't run run wires yet because i'm too scared to kind of mess around with the cpu or whatever the heck ecu whatever the freak is right here uh, the batteries on this side i got some performance mods actually i didn't tell you guys that i really should have told you told you that uh, i got some performance modifications done done to this thing um nothing special back here literally nothing special i'm gonna remove this and i'm probably gonna remove this too i'm probably gonna remove both of these stickers and i'm gonna remove that sticker too i'm gonna remove all these stickers eventually but the performance mod actually is not you know on the inside it's it's pretty e exterior it's a pretty big exterior mod and i don't know if you can see it this thingy right here this thingy is my intake now you might be asking yourself why is there an intake on a non-industrial carbureted engine uh the reason for that is because my battery overheats and the battery is right on top of here no we're right on top of here it's it's on that piece of rubber and it is just hot it is a hot box in that hoverboard and the way to cool that down is feed some air in there and that's literally what i did i cut a hole and then I put a tube so air could just feed itself right in. I don't know if you can see, but th this is open. I can't turn on my flash or nothing like that, but that is open right in there. And that is going straight down into my battery. So if any big rocks get in there, it's just going to fl flail around in there. But I put, I put a decent uh, height of it off the ground. And if you move the ho hoverboard and things like that, it's not going to flex too bad or nothing. And this just held on by an Allen key for now. I, I can literally take that Allen key off and the whole thing will just drag down. So I got kind of got to be careful with that. But that's pretty much all um, for, for, for this thing. It's been doing good. You know what I'm saying? The bottom's still holding up well and all that. She'll, she'll live. You know what I'm saying? She'll live. Uh, next, I think I'll move on to the scooter. Uh, I showed this previously. And not previously, I showed this a while back in one of my other videos. This is my slam scooter. This thing is a, just a few centimeters or millimeters off of the ground. This thing is literally scraping the ground right now. Every time you tilt it, it's going to scrape. And the reason why, actually, if I can get it on a flat surface, actually, on a flat surface... If it's sitting 50-50, it's just a few millimeters off the ground. And anyways, had to make a quick run. Back to the scooter. You can see this thing scrapes a whole bunch. There is almost no metal left on the bottom of the chassis to even support it. If I get it upright, the front is standard fork nothing special but at the back if we go on there is a completely revamped suspension system in the back there's control arms down there you get all the things you need it's pretty simple it's just nails it's not built to be reliable it's not built to be indestructible something that hold it for now it's it's almost as good, I mean, sorry, as bad as it will get. If I put it on the side right now, the thing moves, dude. It tilts side to side. This isn't meant to go fast down a hill or go to the skate park or something like that. This is a garage scooter. This is just meant to get around the freaking garage, you know what I'm saying? This, this isn't a really spacious place, but it's cool. Um, the grip tape is completely faded. There's almost no grip tape left. Uh, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. It's just completely upgraded suspension system. Well, actually downgraded. It didn't even have a suspension system before because it's a scooter. And I wouldn't call this suspension system because there's no use of springs or shocks or anything like that. But it's, it's as good as it gets, you know what I'm saying? But overall, next, uh, I might show the Havoc. The Havoc FS, that was the second thing uh, I worked on this weekend. First thing I worked on this weekend was this Roadmaster thingy or whatever. This is my old bike from like 20, I think 15. 
Uh, only thing I did to it was take off the rear tire, so it has no rear t rear tire at all. Uh, obviously, if you can't tell that it doesn't have a rear tire, I'm not sure what's wrong with you. But, um, we got it lowered. The seat is sitting down nice now. Now I'm not saying you know this this, this is like professional grade or nothing, but just the seat sitting down low and. You know, you're almost touching the um, the the wheel. You're almost sitting on the freaking wheel. So if it feels like you're, you're you're driving a squatted bike, it's almost as luxurious as it gets with com like the 360 steering. You know what I'm saying? That this is l truly an experience. Uh, it truly is an experience. Um, definitely on the greatest of things, but. It's just something simple. It's just some stupid little bike. It's nothing crazy. The Havoc. I'm making a whole separate video on this. So you don't go, don't go worry about that for now, actually. I just thought about that. But uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, the skateboard I've been working on, if you follow me on, my, on, on any of my socials, you know while I took this little YouTube break, I got back into skateboarding, which is true. Uh, this is my skateboard. It's just some simple $30, $30 Walmart big long monster of a skateboard uh it's nothing crazy it's just painted uh the whole bottom side is painted with this flat matte black paint's peeling because it's, it's 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 a skateboard you know and you you ride it you know it's a skateboard uh just some stickers and stock trunks stock wheels I really want to get ABC nines in the future because I think that'll really help me out, especially for what I do. I'm not trying to be a poser. I just think ABC nines would be really useful. But I, I know how to ride and nollie and do wheelies and <laughs> crap like that. Like I can ride a freaking skateboard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I'm so good. Uh, I, I want to get y'all some some clips. In here. Ooh. Okay, I think that was a wheelie. I, I'm not riding good, I swear. The reason I'm not riding good, okay, I got some backtrack on this thing, you know what I'm saying? Is because I'm recording. Yeah, uh, that'll be my excuse. That'll be my excuse. Anyways, uh,. <laughs> On the more serious side of things, I'm going to have a whole bunch of videos coming out this weekend about uh, some content changes that, that, that I'm going to do. Uh, I'm pretty much revamping my entire channel. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to play out, but I'm going to have a whole video about it talking uh, to, to you guys. If you're really interested about how I'm going to change uh, my YouTube channel here uh, in the upcoming future or just in about a week or two, I definitely hit that subscribe button just... Just in case I'm going to start making content that you're going to like, you should probably subscribe. Uh, but besides that, I think that's it for today's video. I, I don't think we need to talk about any, anything else. Uh, nope, I'm leaving this RC car that I've been modifying for a different video. I'm leaving the Havoc FS for a different video. And I'm going to leave my secret special jeep bike that i've only shown two times on this channel uh for a video in the future as well uh so expect like two or three more videos this week definitely expect at least two videos this week at least two i may squeeze out three on the weekend or on the week after this i should get another one <clears throat> uh so if you did enjoy today's video uh it, it'd be really kind of you to like and subscribe uh there's not really anything else to say. Uh, I suppose that is my goodbyes to you lovely people. Uh, I have nothing else to do now. Uh, I might do some end of the video shenanigans. I might not. I, I usually do these a lot. I think I might just insert some drift sessions of this charger, but no. <laughs> no. I must wait. I must hold the back. I must hold back of all this beauty you must conquer, I suppose, <laughs> in a different video. So, goodbye, my TikTok, Instagram, and link. No, not my TikTok, Twitch. I don't even stream on Twitch, so my TikTok and 
Instagram link is in my bio. I would really appreciate if you went over to my Instagram and actually looked at some of the stuff that I've been doing uh, because I haven't been dead. I'm I'm not dead. I'm, I'm, I'm alive. So I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes. If you want to see some of that stuff, head over to my Instagram, and that's pretty much it. Link is in my about page, and goodbye. That is all.